Oli Matthews here, creator of the Revitalization Blueprint. Optimization and accountability coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. Before I dive into this video, head over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. There, there you're going to be one of the lucky people that gets to have all the content I put out. Nutrition, training plans, all specific to certain goals. And that secret, the secret called accountability. It's not really a secret anymore, is it? First 20 people, $1 for the first month, then it goes to $30 following on from there. Digestion. Oh, we love that word. Why? Because it means we're eating food or are eating food. But you are not what you eat. We've heard that before. It's not what you eat, it's what you absorb. So when I look into this video, I want to go a little bit deeper and this is for my geeks out there. So for the geeks, love you. What actually happens when food goes into our mouth? What happens when we put food into our mouths? The first thing, we crank up the process. The process of our body thinking we're gonna digest something. This is the same thing that happens when we walk past McDonald's, Burger King, disclaimer, any fast food restaurant, even the colors have been proven to stimulate this process psychologically. When we walk into a store and the air conditioning is blowing out freshly baked bread, our saliva glands start producing saliva, it goes into our mouth, down our esophagus, into our stomach, through our small intestine and then to our large intestine and then we will poop most of it out. So let's look at that process. When we actually think of food, our brain sends signals to our body to actually say, look, I'm about to have some food. We have the saliva producing in our mouth. The saliva in the mouth is what helps break down food. The tongue has to mix all that food up with saliva to make it easy to break down. So the first thing people can do is chew their food a hell of a lot more. People don't do that so much. Why? People don't chew their food because they're busy scrolling on Facebook, chatting with people, being stressed out when they eat, not thinking about eating, not taking time for themselves, eating. Therefore their body isn't able to digest their food properly. They think they're hungrier when they're not. They get digestive issues, they get higher stress, they get lowered immune function. Therefore, they actually end up getting fatter. From there, it goes down our esophagus. Then what actually happens there, there's these muscle contractions called peristalsis. Peristalsis? Peristalsis, I can't even say the bloody word. What that is, it pushes the food down. Pushes the food down when it gets into our stomach. There it is kind of mixed up or broken down and mixed up with this gastrointestinal juice called chyme. Chime is something mixed with hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen, which helps digest food and break that pepsinogen into pepsin, which again helps digest specific proteins. Are you with me? So we've thought about food. We've started getting all wet in the mouth. We've chewed our food, we've put it into our stomach. Then, then from there it goes into our small intestine. The protein and carbs are partly digested here, and this is where the fats start digesting as well. Nutrients will be absorbed here. There are things in the stomach lining called villi, which increase the stomach surface area, stick with me, which then food gets absorbed through it, into the bloodstream, blood sugars, amino acids, and all these things. Then it goes into the large intestine. This is where water, sodium, chloride, all start to be absorbed here. And we start to form and store poop or feces. We get the need here for healthy bacteria to help complete digestion of all the nutrients and fiber. 
This is where we hear about probiotics. They can help this process and they assist your body being able to finish this digestion, get the rest of the decency into the body where it can do work. So if you're still with me, thank you for letting me get my geek mode on because I don't do that that often these days. But what slows down this process? What stops this process of being able to digest your food? The big thing that I talk about all the time when it comes to busy people is their stress levels. When we go into fight or flight mode, our body doesn't want to put blood into our stomach to digest all these things, into these muscles around here to digest and actually get everything to go through these processes. Forgets about that. It forgets about having to digest food. The central nervous system stimulates and so much that we then focus on the stress at hand. Whether it is physiological stress that you're going through, going through that hard workout, that hard training session in the gym, going for a ride, going for a run. Whether it is psychological stress, which we are under so much nowadays. So much stress that our job is pushing stress on us, our family, our relationships. Even social media can stress us out. We get a comment we don't necessarily like. Too many people go straight in with, nah, 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 I'm against this, I'm against that. And I've seen that so much in the fitness world where people that are fitness professionals act unprofessionally at other fitness professionals and end up scaring off their clients. That's not me. We have so much stress in our lives, what we perceive as stress. When this happens, we can't get rid of inflammation too much. Our immune system gets lower. And before we know it, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, the esophagus even, they aren't able to do their job properly because the body isn't prioritizing it. Just like when you don't prioritize your health and you're prioritizing all this stuff in your business at the time, when you don't prioritize your health, your health will drop. The problem with that is that because you're prioritizing all this stuff in your business, that's cool. Your body's able to fight stress for a certain period of time. But that health, when it drops, eventually that will come back to kick you in the balls. And that will mean your health being dropped will mean you have to take away from your business, have to take away from your focus where that flight and fight response is directed and get your foundations built solidly. This is where things like getting your nutrition in check is gonna be good. Where getting your training in check, and it may even be that we don't even need to train at first. And getting your mindset in check, meditation, doing some deep box breathing, doing some mindset work elsewhere. Other things that can help, some cooking actually breaks down certain forms of nutrients that we need. So certain foods could be better for some individuals as raw foods. Is it for everyone? No, but it could be. And the biggest thing, apart from managing your stress, is going to be eat whole single ingredient foods. The more processed a food is, the less your body will have to do to break it down and get the nutrients from it. So the lazier the body becomes. We always say that you never forget to ride how to ride a bike. This is true, apparently. But if you don't ride a bike for a few years, even though you may have been amazing on the bike, you have to pick up that skill somewhere. And you don't start as good as you used to be. If you're lifting 200 pounds, 300 pounds in the gym, and you take six months off, you're not gonna go straight into 300 pounds straight away. But you will be able to. And that is where we need to make sure the body is able to do its job. You can still have some processed foods, but make sure your diet, if you know me, you know that 80-20 rule, 80% 80 on point, 100% of the time. Look forward to hearing from you guys. If you like what you heard in this video, hit a like, hit a share, drop a comment. If you want to talk about one-to-one -one coaching, ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com or if you're ready to get accountable, revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. Have a great day.